Hello everyone, welcome to this video on how to apply sorting in dashboard widgets in Bold BI. Bold BI Embedded Analytics helps integrate analytical solutions and data visualization capabilities into a software application's user interface to improve data comprehension and usability. To explore the sorting feature, you need to install and deploy the Bold BI server in your machine. Then, the server will be launched in your default browser using the localhost server URL. Initially, the page looks empty until you create a new dashboard or add a pre-built dashboard. I have already installed and deployed the Bold BI server using an on-premise demo.boldbi.com domain. I have created dashboards and explored some dashboard examples so that the dashboards homepage has several dashboards listed. Before getting into the rest of the video, you need to know how to create a dashboard and how to connect to a new data source. Please check the links provided in this video's description if you do not know how to do these things. Let's take a quick look at sorting and their purpose. Sorting gives users control over the order of data showcased in a widget. You can customize the sorting behavior of dimension fields in each widget to order them based on value, data source, field, or alphabetically. You can display the sorted data either in ascending or descending order. To learn more about sorting, please find the documentation link provided in this video's description. Let's explore the sorting feature. Here you can see a list of dashboard examples we can explore. From these, I have added a hospital management dashboard that holds sorting functionalities. I open the dashboard by clicking on it. The hospital management dashboard helps you monitor quality of patient care, operational and financial activities of the hospital, staffing details, treatment costs, readmission rates, and more. With this dashboard, we can answer the following questions. First, how many patients are admitted? Second, how many doctors are on duty? Finally, what are patients' treatment costs? We can break down these metrics further by age group. Let's edit this dashboard to apply sorting to the widgets in the Dashboard Designer panel. Here in the Patients Count by Specialization widget, we have applied sorting to the widget through the Specialization column. The advanced sorting options are Alphabetic, Data Source Order, and Field. Let's apply the Alphabetic Sorting option. Go to the Control Designer, click the Settings icon of the Specialization column, and then click the Sort option. The Advanced Sorting Option dialog will open. The options available in this dialog are Ascending and Descending, which will sort the widget data accordingly. Here I have set Sort By as Alphabetic and Sort Order as Ascending. This sorting will be applied to the fields with more than one string in the column data. Here you can see the data arranged in ascending order. Let's switch the Sort Order option to Descending, so that the widget data will be showcased in descending order. Here the changes are reflected in the widget. Next, let's apply the Data Source Order Sorting option. For Data Source Order Sorting, I will explain this option functionality using a grid widget for better understanding. Here I have configured a grid widget using three dimension columns. By default, all the columns will be sorted in alphabetically ascending order. Based on the first column sorting, the data of the remaining columns will be updated. Here, I have moved the specialization column to the top. Since it is the first column now the other two columns data will be sorted based on the first columns data. Next, if you have a need to sort the second column itself but the remaining first and third columns need to be unsorted. You have to prefer the data source ordering option. It means if you choose data source ordering for a column it will not have any types of sorting with it. For that, you have to apply alphabetical sorting to the second column and apply data source order sorting to the remaining columns. Here you can see only the second column itself sorted, and the remaining columns were unsorted. Lastly, let's sort the widget data based on the dimension field. For example, you can sort specializations based on their outpatient value, and the ordering can be chosen based on what needs to be shown in the widget. Here, I will apply sorting based on the sum function for the field appointment underscore ID and choose ascending order. You can choose any other functions from this list based on your needs. Click Apply. The widget is displayed with the sorting applied. 
Next, let's apply the average function to the dimension field appointment underscore ID and choose descending order. Click apply and the widget is shown with the sorting applied. Note that the advanced sorting option will not be available for date type, date time type, raw data, and proportional charts such as pie, donut, pyramid, and funnel. You can organize your dashboard data better by using sorting in dimension fields or at the data type level. You can find other dashboards like this hospital management dashboard in the sample dashboards sections of the Bold BI website. You can also find our solutions and integrations dashboard examples on the sample browser page. They will help you create dashboards for your own business needs. The link for the sample browser page will be available in this video's description. In this video, we have seen an overview of how to apply sorting in dashboard widgets in Bold BI. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or if there are any additional features you would like to see in Bold BI. Thanks for watching.